His work is bringing buildings to life. You may have seen the finished products, but may not know the man behind the art. I first saw our next guest in action painting his latest project while in the North Side recently. Artist Jeremy Raymer was putting the finishing touches on his mural of the Great One, Roberto Clemente, on the side of Verdetto's bar and restaurant. Now I'm noticing his work in other bars, restaurants, as well as buildings and homes all around town. I'm happy to have Jeremy with us this morning to find out more about his work. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to have you. I mean, your work is getting so much attention, and I'd love to find out a little bit more about your latest piece. Yeah, so we did a large-scale portrait of uh, Clemente here. Um, you know, I use Pittsburgh elements in my works quite a bit, and uh, like to kind of target high visibility areas and this is the highest one of any I've done so far. It's amazing. How long did this take you? Um, the actual portrait took about 20 hours. We um, primed the wall first to kind of give it a fresh coat and uh, worked off that. And it took you 20 hours. I mean that much detail and shadowing and are you using spray paint? All spray paint, yeah. It's so incredible and this will actually be part of a larger celebration which is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, coming up September 6th, I'm really stoked for that. Uh, Clemente Jr. is going to come speak. Mayor Bill Peduto is going to be there. And this is part of, let me get this right, the Hispanic Heritage Month kickoff party. Exactly, September yes. 6th. So your backstory, I was also reading a little bit about this, is pretty incredible. You started this, uh, you know, your life journey as an engineer going to school yeah, for that. So how did, did you end up with spray paint in your hand? You know, I always had a passion for art. My hobby was doing oil portraits for a long time. Since about 2005, I've been doing it pretty consistently. And um, visited my sister. She lives down in Boca Raton. There's a place outside of Miami called Wynwood Walls. Huge plethora, murals every direction, every single surface covered. I kind of saw it, I was inspired, I came home. That was August 2013, bought my first can of Montana Gold. <laughs> Started painting on my fence and the side of my house and you know, here I am now doing bigger and bigger pieces every year. So that was your first mural was on the side of your house? Yeah, it was. If you go on pghmurals.com, they kind of have a, a collection of some of my earliest pieces you could see and kind of see the progression from then till now. It's quite a bit, quite a bit different at this point. Well, I'd love to show the folks at home some of the images. Maybe you kind of walk us through what we're seeing. This is the one. And when I saw this, what I noticed was there's graffiti around the fencing here. So. Was this done in an attempt to beautify the fence, to cover up some of the old graffiti? Um, you know, for that, like this piece basically, yeah, to, you know, kind of take something you'd look at and you might not necessarily see it as a canvas per se. Some of the graffiti was covered. The, the business owner is basically responsible sometimes to cover it over if someone graffitis their property. Right. I had been in talks with um, the owner of this business for quite some time. Right around the corner from here, my other most notable piece is Magneto. So he kind of gave me free reign to add this piece. This is a friend and local model of mine, Anna. She's been on our show before. Oh, actually. very cool. She has, yeah. yeah. Um, and some of your other pieces too, we'll show some, some images of them. How do you get the inspiration for them? Is it something um, like this? How do you get the inspiration for this? Um, you know, animals and portraiture are primarily the things I like to do, and I just kind of let it go. You know, a lot of times I get an idea, wow. something may fit to the size of a building, and um, this is on the side of a home. Yeah, this is on the facade of a home, 35th and um, Charlotte, down in Lawrenceville. Wow, unbelievable! And so, why is it that people commission these works? From you? A lot of different reasons. You know, sometimes people are just fans. Um, the Deutschtown Sasquatch, actually, that we just saw was kind of a fun one. Tied into the Deutschtown Music Festival, which is coming up actually July 13th and 14th. There'll be uh, live bands at Verdetto's bo both days. So come out, enjoy free music all day, take a few pictures, tag me if you wouldn't mind. And this one right here, a lot of people may recognize this one in Lawrenceville. Yeah, this is a little courtyard. Um, another friend of mine, basically, it was kind of a vacant lot. Some Eagle Scouts came in, cleaned it up, turned it into a public green space. So the back Eagle to the right was an ode to them and then they just gave me free reign to cover the other walls and kind of beautify this this little uh, lot there down in Lawrenceville. So CBS actually did a uh, story recently on how street art is going corporate, how mm -hmm. more businesses are yeah. seeing the beauty in like hand painting or spray painting billboards and uh, kind of advertising through that way. Are, are you finding that happening here now? Yeah, quite a bit. A lot of the projects coming up for me have been like that. And I kind of feel like it's a natural progression, you know, history repeating itself back way back. You know, people used to do hand painted signs all the time. Even the uh, exhibit at the Warhol right now, Adman, using artists 
to advertise different products and different brands. And so tell us about your upcoming projects. I think this is really neat. Yeah, this is really neat. Um, I'm a University of Pittsburgh alum, so the director of marketing from Pitt Athletics reached out back in December and um, kind of wanted to promote basketball, football, and sports in general. So working with uh, Lamar, the billboard company in town, um, I'm going to be hand painting three billboards. Um, we'll, we took some imagery from basketball, football, and I also went on campus and took some photographs of the uh, Pitt Panther right outside the Peterson Event Center. Did some modifications to it, and I'll be hand painting billboards. They'll be going up August 1st, 20th, and then beginning of September. And these are huge. And yeah. We're talking three very large Very, billboards. very large paintings, basically, you could say, yeah. This is kind of unique because Lamar said it's first of a kind for the, the market here. So it'll be interesting to see it and, you know, utilize the art as a means to promote the brands. Why do you think this trend is becoming so popular to use street um, art to advertise? To a large extent, I think it's a natural progression. You know, we do large scale art. Um, definitely social media plays a big part in it. And, you know, it's easily shareable. And it's a unique way to, you know, really show something beautiful, but also give some exposure to, you know, whether it's a business or a product, something like that. And what is your next, uh, aside from Pitt, do you have any other projects coming up? Um, you know, several uh, passion projects for myself. I'm always kind of doing little pieces here and there. Um, randomly, you know, I see something coming up. Jeff Go Goldblum Day is coming up. Pittsburgh native, July 13th. So I'm going to do a little Jeff Goldblum please for that. Very neat. Yeah. I, I love what you're doing, transforming the side of a building into something that you can actually stare at for quite some time and enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to do high visibility spots, but I also do like alleyways and stuff like that too to kind of bring people to random spots like art and places they wouldn't always expect to see it. Fantastic. And if you want to come see the work on September 6th at uh, the Hispanic Heritage Days, you can, and you'll actually have smaller prints of Roberto. Yeah, I'll have jaclays of the uh, mural actually for sale, hand signed as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much for oh, coming on, Jeremy. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. And you can follow Jeremy Raymer's work all around town on his Facebook pages and Instagram pages. You can look for those links at kdka.com slash PTL.